sending you a sample, enclosed. Look, dear. No, thanks, dear, not for breakfast. Maureen <laughs> sent it from camp. For heaven's sakes, why? We can't send a thing like that to the United States mails. What's wrong with that girl, anyway? She's absolutely miserable. She hates the counselor, she hates the other girls, and most of all, she hates the feminine activities. She wants to go to a boys' camp. She's a girl. She can't go to a boys' camp. That's ridiculous. My mother's instinct tells me we should drive up there and visit her today. Just a minute. I have a regional sales powwow at the office today. I can't be driving up to a girl's camp in the middle of a business week. That was the way we thought our hair so early in the morning. Let's go, but this is the way we shampoo our hair, shampoo our hair, shampoo our hair. Hi, there. Yes, Camp Divine, we're receiving you loud and clear. Oh, be careful, we're sending a message over by arrow. Look out, boys. Those boobies are shooting arrows again. <laughs> Run away again. Oh. oh, no, we just gave her back to What's them. What's wrong with those women? All right, stop yakking. Let's go find I her. I gotta get my clipboard, and I'll be with you. Yeah, right, well, so you take the swim class. So I'll go let's the baseball time. Right, right. Right. Hey, any of you guys seen Maureen? Who? Maureen, the little girl from Camp Divine. You took her back to the girls' camp. No, nah, she escaped again. You sure you haven't seen her? <laughs> Right in line, that's it. Come on, come on. You haven't seen Maureen, huh? <laughs> haven't seen Maureen, huh? Oh, you mean that Maureen? Yes, that Maureen. Come on, honey, you better come with me. Joint cheeks are stuffy, these big gears. <laughs> open the suggestions. Well, obviously, we can't go on this way. Our gas bills driving back and forth to the camp around the lake are bankrupting. Well, let's put on our think caps, folks, and try to come up with a solution. How about if we build a six-foot brick wall around your camp? <laughs> well, I was just trying to help. How about if we uh, dug a moat all the way around your camp? Yeah, and filled it with alligators. <laughs> Roy, that's enough of that. Have you tried to reason with her? Oh, it doesn't seem to work. But she plainly and simply doesn't want to be a girl. I mean, she doesn't like dancing, singing, cooking, sewing, any of the marvelous things we girls do. She likes to do all the things your little boys do. Like Mahalani said, she simply wants to be a boy. <laughs> Although why any girl wants to be a boy is beyond me. <laughs> well, what's going to be a boy? Yeah, being boys, that's a lot of fun. A lot less complicated than girls. Tell me story. I wouldn't be a girl for anything. <laughs> girls have as much fun as boys, except in their own way. More fun. <laughs> oh, well, we're not that double standard genre. Now, look, 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 look. We're not here to discuss whether men are better than women or have more fun. We're here trying to help little Maureen. Now, let's put on our thinking caps and come up with an answer. Right. Well, we've tried everything. She just refuses to change. Suggestion. Mm. Right. Now, look, she likes Camp Runamuck, right? Right. 
right. Yeah, well, look, now, if she won't change, why don't we change Camp Rudema? Change our camp? Sure, why not? I mean, we've got a lot of little boy activities now. Why don't we have a lot of little girly activities? Well, it might work, but why don't we give it a chance? <laughs> Guys, line up over here. Come on, let's go. Well, darling, we have some good news for you. Since you like it here so much, we've decided to let you stay here in the boys' camp. Really? You mean really true? Really true. Of course, this means you are no longer a divine girl, so you must turn in your camp divine honor card. Oh, and also, you're a beaded Indian, decency, and good scout headband. And your camp divine immaculacy and purity bracelet. Congratulations, Marie. You are now a boy. Good luck. Hey, Charlie Sullivan. Let's go have fun. Oh, I love these little surprise spot checks of our camps. Keeps the counselors on their toes. Now, gentlemen, we'll cut through the woods, around the lake, and infiltrate the camp before they even know we're there. Now, gentlemen, follow me. And don't forget, sneaky. What do you mean, Penny? Orders of the day. Now you start painting, Charlie Sullivan. But that's for girls. <laughs> Where's hot dogs and beans? What's this stuff? Oh, it's all new kids. Little cucumber and watercress sandwiches. Aren't they sweet? But this is girl food. Is this all we get? That's it, sweetheart. Uh, I mean, Charlie. Disgusting. <laughs> So, today we start our new class in bed making. Oh, what fun it'll be to turn crisp green sheets into tight little corners and smooth tops. Now, we'll uh, start with a hospital fold at the set. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Don't smash your counselors. Besides, this is the way we learn grace and play. For boys, that's for girls. Come on, when do we play baseball? No, no, baseball's all finished for the season. For the next six weeks, it's dancing class. Now, come on, Charlie, shape up and join the rest of the boys. One and two, three and four, and hit and one, two, three, slow and graceful as the breeze. Watch your chip on, if you please. Is he kidding? Why don't you complain? Three and four, three and four, and three and four, and three and four, and three and four, and Congratulations, sir. I think she's going home. Maybe we ought to follow behind her, George. Make sure she gets home safe. Yeah, Stay yeah. out of sight. Right. All right, men. Infiltrate. Get a good, fast look before they spot us. Ready? Strike. <laughs> uh, well, if you'd just given us some warning, you were coming. Now, Mr. Necker, something is wrong. I sense it. My mother's instinct tells me. No, 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 nothing's wrong. Then where is Maureen? Ward, I knew it. I knew it. She's sick. She is, isn't she? Please, now, if you'll just let me explain. Oh, she's explain. broken I... her leg. Oh, Ward, <laughs> my mother's instinct. Stop with the mother's instinct and let the poor woman explain. Let me stop. Hey, there you are. <laughs> Hey, you see, she's fine. You and your mother's instinct. I could have gone to that Kiwanis luncheon. Oh, hush. I'm going to be more dominating from now on. We got your letter, dear. Now, what's all this about not being happy at camp? I changed my mind. Boys are sort of dumb. <laughs> you, Dad. But, Mother, they go along and do whatever the counselors make them to do. I've lost all my respect for dumb boys. Isn't that funny? I used to think boys were the most. But they're not. They're dumb. <laughs> I didn't say a word. <laughs> Knit one, curl one, and make your loops over. Knit one, curl one, and make your loops. Knitting? In a boy's camp? That's good, fella. Now, to see how the fudge did not stick to the buttered pans, see that? All right, now, delicately sprinkle the almond chips. And your fudge is finished. Fudge? Boys making fudge? Are you sure we're in the right camp? One and two and three and four. And one and two and one and two and three and four. Down to the camp of Mason and North. And one and two and one. Do you have everything you need? Oh, fine. Thank you. Fine. Excuse me. <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> worked out brilliantly, didn't it? Mm -hmm. I thought we solved it rather well. Mm -hmm. All at your wonderful and intelligent suggestion. Oh, no, it's nothing. Oh, no, you were the man back of it, George. No, no, no. Ah, you deserve all the praise. Uh, well, no. I, it was cleanly executed, and I think we all deserve a round of applause. Uh, yeah, why not? Hello, <laughs> Oh, Commander Steve. Ah, thank you, my dear. Commander Wivano. Hello, Doc. Hey, National Commissioner of Camps? Oh, no. What happened? He's what? The National Commissioner of Camps, a surprise spot check. Oh. What? But you're, but you're kidding, Doc, right? Tell me you're kidding, Doc. He caught the knitting and making fudge. <laughs> fudge? He's what? What did he say? He shut down our camp. Oh, you and your big, bright ideas. <laughs> That's right, fellas. Lock it to the trucks and get in the cars. We'll drive you home to your parents. Those tent doors lock yet, sweetie? Kitchen shut down yet? Oh, sir, if you'll just wait a minute, hold everything. Quiet. Stand the detention manager or commissioner that you're addressing. Yes, sir. No excuses, sir. But if you'll just let me explain. Oh, you'll get a chance to explain, all right, to a court martial board. Dancing, sewing, and bunch making at a boys' camp. Perhaps I can explain, sir. You're a disgrace to the National Camp Association. Wait till they get wind of this in Washington. Serving watercress and cucumber sandwiches and with roses on the tray. Yes, sir, but you see. I broken the National Food Charter. You know we're honor bound to serve baked beans and hot dogs at least two times a day. <laughs> oh, no. It's back to the bush leagues with you, Wivenhoe. Just a minute. I don't uh, know you, but uh, why not give Commander Wivenhoe a chance to explain it? Who is this person? Oh, uh, that's Mr. Sullivan. His little girl's in our camp. Would you ask the gentleman to kindly stay out of our business? I'll have it your way. I'm going down to Washington next week on business, and I'm playing golf with Henry McWhorter. I'll explain it to him personally. You know Mr. McWhorter? We were roommates at Harvard. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Sullivan, you said your name was. <laughs> I suggest you tell those boys they were there to stop packing and return to normal camp activities. Oh, good thinking. Yes, <laughs> sir. <laughs> uh, Sweeney, never mind shutting down the camp. <laughs> Get the boys back to their normal activities. That's right. You heard me. If you'll just give me ten seconds, I'll explain to you what a very kind and considerate service these good gentlemen of Camp Runamuck have extended to my daughter. Who's Henry McWhorter? He's the Supreme National Commissioner of all the camps. His boss. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me, Wally, instead of Mr. Sullivan? I'm proud of all you men. Proud. Well, they really brought a miracle in Little Marine. Why, she's back in our camp and happy to be a girl again. <laughs> All right, baseball group, line up behind me. By golly, I can hardly wait to meet that adorable little daughter of Mr. Sullivan. Shall we go? Right on. Hello, well, we went home. Keep up the good work, huh? Yes, sir. You run them all, fellow campers. Here we go, man. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four.